Every fight means everything to me. But obviously, there's certain fights that are a little bit more important. I need a little more speed. Up your tempo. Let me see it. Keep working. Nice. Before, I thought, oh, if I don't win this fight, that's the end of it for me. But everyone knows I'm still, and always will be, a threat in boxing. Belt or no belt. From the sun-kissed streets of the City of Angels, Michaela Manor! She is gone to another level already inside this ring. Because I'm still a valuable fight for anybody at this stage of my career, I was able to get the world title shot against Sandy Ryan. Brilliant work from Sandy Ryan. Tremendous shot to the body. And who knows where she might be going from here. I don't chase fights against fighters that aren't good. I respect her as a fighter, but not as a person the decision she makes. Michaela Mayer and Sandy Ryan have a serious beef. The way Michaela sees it, Sandy stole her coach, Kay Corona. Did you steal her trainer? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably going to sleep thinking about me and thinking, I have a change on my whole team. <laughs> Coach K had been by Michaela's side since her amateur days. And for Michaela to have a betrayal and trust of a relationship uh, that's lasted over a decade uh, really, I think, cut her deep. Coach K told me, listen, I'm bringing in Sandy. I'm like, I want to fight Sandy. She has a WBO. My team should be helping me navigate my way back to a belt. Not navigating around me and training my competition. I never been scared of the lights and the fame. Come on, go, go. I do it for me and I do it again. For Sandy Ryan, in her mind, she did nothing wrong and Michaela's going after her character. She's just <laughs> carrying on building this thing in her own head. She was just never in my radar. But it is easier to fight someone when you don't like them. Fortunately for boxing fans, Michaela and Sandy are gonna settle it like two female gladiators in the ring. I'm gonna let my hands go. Sandy Ryan, you're gonna get an action-packed fight. Kayla Mayer, stop all this BS talking, and I'll see you September 27th. My name is Michaela Mayer. I'm a professional boxer, 2016 US Olympian, and former unified junior lightweight world champion. If you ask Michaela Mayer, Sandy Ryan stole her training team. Michaela was going to welterweight. She says that Sandy Ryan knew that. Sandy would say, I had no idea. Once Sandy linked up with Flick and Coach K, and Michaela had to make a decision, and her decision was those two got to go. You know, Coach K was my coach, so this is the track he took me to. And I assume he takes Sandy here now. Coach K is his own person. He can train and work with whoever he wants. But the way he went about it is why I had to walk away. All right, let's go. Let's get busy. Let's do the, the high knees. When you tell me you're not training her, Flick is, when you tell me you're not going to her fight, and I turn on TV on and I see you in her corner, when you told Matchroom that I'll train Sandy Ryan if she never fights Michaela, now you're affecting my opportunities. Now there's, there's no transparency here and there's no trust. And if I can't trust you, you can't be in my corner. And so I decided to walk away. And that's it. Ready? Go! Evans Tobler is a strength and conditioning coach. I've known him for years, but this will be the first camp that I took him on officially. Come on, you gotta get here! It's always hard looking for a new coach, especially at this stage of my career. But Evans spent most of his time training for the Olympics as a track athlete. So he's really big on every workout we do translating to boxing. Come on, keep going, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, time. I think this fight's gonna come down to 
who's in the best shape. Marquette's not used to boxing workouts. Whatever. He's a punter. Marquette King is my boyfriend. We've been together now for about four years, and he obviously is best known for his seven years on the Raiders as a punter. I don't really run around with like a huge posse in camp. Like some fighters do, they got their whole crew. That's not really the way I do it. I'm just sort of close knit circle with my coaches. So it's good to have him here. And good thing he's an athlete because he'd be bored as <laughs> Like at least he has something. At least he can fall in with the workouts and feel like he's working too, you know? There's a few people in my life, Market is one of them, who definitely fits into the training camp vibe. He's not gassing me up, he's not criticizing me. He's just letting me be, he's letting me live and supporting me along the way. Make it to me, you gotta make it to me! Obviously every camp is hard, but I feel stronger than I've ever felt, comfortable at 147 pounds. So all I have to do is impose my will and do what I do best. Faster line, good. That's the pace he want the whole time. I don't know if she can say the same. So you got the pace, right? Woo! I'm in shape. My legs are shot from yesterday, but... Hey, look! I think that's why he's only making me do 30 seconds. Listen. I'm Sandy Ryan, and I'm fighting Michaela Mayer September 27th in New York City at Madison Square Garden. I am training in Las Vegas. Third time I've been here, so I think I've found my spot. Do you find training in the desert to be an advantage? Is it making uh, you stronger or is it just brutal? I like the heat. Like, I like training in the heat. But this, this heat is different. I step outside, one step, boom, I start sweating. But I like it. Weirdly, like, I need it to be hard work. I need to, like, die in sessions for me to think I got some out of it. That's another reason why I like it here because the training is hard and it's very different and I like that. I like being pushed to my limits and because there's no other place like the boxing ring where you get pushed to your limits. From Derby, England. She's been let loose on pro boxing and has fought with somebody like a point to prove. So two wins in a row against former world champions. She's the new WBO welterweight champion of the world, Sandy Ryan. A brilliant amateur career and now continuing to grow in the professional ranks with so many opportunities potentially to come. So you need to make sure you do it in training and you prepare yourself. So when if you do have to dig deep in a fight, you know that you've got it in the tank. My ultimate goal is to have all the belts around my waist. And then once I've accomplished that, I want to go on to maybe a weight above and um, challenge the big girls. I just want the big fights and all the belts. The first time I fought in America, Kay helped me and introduced me to Flick. Ever since, um, me and Flick started working together, we just clicked. Wonderful performance from Sandy Ryan. And it kind of bats off each other, and it works really well. And that embrace with Flick Savoy in the corner. She's saying about Kay and this and that, but Flick is my trainer and I can't never recall flick training Michaela Mayer, so. I'm setting up right now. A little daily warm up. Some people just get used to jump rope and I just mix it up. For the, what this fight we prepared for is like, you know, no other. You know, even though we the champions, but you don't want to never get too comfortable at the championship level. There's been a lot of drama. <laughs> yeah. In these camps. Yeah, yeah. Me and Coach K, we used to train Michaela Miles. To be fair, Michaela jumped up two weight classes to Sandy's weight class out of nowhere. And now she accuses us of, I don't know, traitor or uh, training against her or whatever the case may be. I'm not going to say nothing bad about Michaela, man. She knows she got to fight ahead of her. She knows what she's dealing with. 
that's where we at right now, and we just training hard. Blue. Two yellow. Blue. There you go. Good, do it again. It should be popping. Okay. There you go. Take a deep breath, yeah? Breathe. Let's go. There you go, Sammy. Come on. There you go. You're a champion for a reason. You got one minute. Use the whole ring. We can box, we can bang, we can do it all. Michaela, she's on her last leg. Said she gonna bully us. Said she gonna do a lot to us. She's definitely gonna find out and say, oh, I made a big mistake. Really weird. I have to feed her by hand. <laughs> I otter eat. Okay. Cause she like to beg for folks' food when they. She's like confused. I have to like force her to eat every day. She's old. <laughs> come here, otter. Come here, come on, come on. Is it hard for you, Marquette, to watch her fight? The Jonas fight. I knew she didn't lose that fight, and um, it was just weird to me how Jonas ended up winning the decision, and it. I, I got pretty pissed off. When I finally got to welterweight 147, I was top contender for Natasha Jonas. She's the IBF world champion. By one of that fight, she wanted that fight. Michaela, you see her taking advantage right now. Michaela going at the champion, Natasha Jonas here. Look at the oh. body shot as Mayer digs downstairs, sets up the overhead shots, and she's starting to break her down. Oh, oh what a right left and despite beating her very clearly, in my opinion, they gave it to her on a split decision. And still, the IBF welterweight champion of the world. Man, one up decision, like, that can change your whole career path. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, I just, I just want to see her succeed. Yeah, I think you could see at the end, I. I thought I did enough to win. Um, I would have given her the first round or two, but after that, I feel like I, I outpunched her and landed the cleaner shots. A loss can affect you very negatively, even if the world knows you didn't lose the fight. Doesn't matter what you believe, doesn't matter what the world believes, it matters what's on paper, unfortunately. So after I didn't get that decision, I was trying to make the rematch with Jonas. And she was on board with it, but we couldn't get it done. Because I can't get this Jonas rematch done. I get a call from my manager, and he's like, September 27th, Madison Square Garden, main event, you versus Sandy Ryan. And that's how this fight got made. Thanks. I have too much on the line. I want this win more than anything. Hi. This is your Tyler. family? Yeah. Where's Angel and Jamie? Just pass her the phone. <laughs> Look at her. Hi. Hello. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Love you. The hardest part about training Tyler. camp is being away on the other side of the world um, from my family and my friends. This is the youngest one. The little trouble one. Everyone fights for themselves and their future to better their future. But <laughs> I've got my family, my nieces, and deep down in me, that's my purpose as well. All right, um, I'm going to do abs now and finish off. All right, you take it easy. All right, love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. 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 I'm very much um, a family person. <laughs> I want to always show love and be like relaxed, peaceful. But when I get in the ring, it's like someone switches. It's just a different, different kind of animal character that comes out. 
and it's just for, like relentless. Stay sharp when you're tired. Come on, get your breathing together. Frequently? Not frequently, not as much as what I should. Yeah, she's a tall, rangy fighter. She works well off her job. But really, I don't believe she's not um, as fast on her feet as what I can be. She's a good technical fighter, good high guard. She's good with her defence. She's achieved a lot of things and I think that's about it. That's all she's going to achieve in her career. She has talked her way into this fight. She's had my name in her mouth the longest. Where I grew up, someone was talking like that and all the BS that she has been like, they would, they would get a slap. Yeah, my brothers, when we was growing up, was always fighting. <laughs> they always end, it always ended up in tears. When I was a teenager, I was always up to mischievous things on the streets and stuff like that and getting into fights that I shouldn't have been getting into. <laughs> and then when it got to the point where I was like, oh, I'm going to be a boxer, I can make money doing this. So I was like, right, this is my path. I need a twist. I need a rotation. You, all you're doing is shooting your arms. I want you to switch your body with on this on your punches. This whole camp is a little bit different for me. I have Kofi in my corner now, who has elevated my game so much just in the last 10 weeks that we've worked together. Yeah, huh? No. Uh, two. It's a two step. Right there, boom. I feel like I've learned more from him than I have from Kane in our whole time together. But he works me hard, extremely hard. Step in, keep stepping. Uh, 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 uh. You run your shot, then you get away. Boxing, you never finish learning. You can always improve on stuff. Until you die, you never finish learning boxing. Every time we're in position to punch, follow up, follow through. One, two, three, four, five. I'm trying to get her to balance, be in the middle, so that when you shift, you can shift back. Then you can flow on your punches. Fights are won in the gym. You're not going to go in a fight doing something that you couldn't do in the training. So the things that you do here, you perfect your game. So when the bell light comes on, you're ready to just to, you know, reproduce what you learn here. All this happened for a reason. Everything from, like, losing to Jonas to not getting the rematch, to having to separate from Kay, all led me to Kofi. <laughs> it was a blessing in disguise. I don't care about Coach Kay, I don't care about Sandy, I don't care about Flick, I don't care about their whole team. I care about my team, my people. This is not a revenge thing to Kay at all. This is about me and my career and getting back the belt that I deserve to have. It's personal, Michaela. Catching the win, coach. Yeah. Got a second win. Yeah. Ain't talk. You gotta win. Ain't talk. We gotta win by knockout. Gotta, gotta go stop somebody. Hey, this, Michaela, this is important. Not you. Moose loves pool days. We just lay out here, lounge in the pool. Everything is very, very intense. So you have to find ways to counter that. You gotta relax your mind. You can't come home and constantly be thinking about boxing and the fight. I've had a rough couple of years. Things haven't all gone my way, but I have this opportunity now in front of me. It's an amazing opportunity. When I got this offer, I couldn't think of anything better for me. In the United States, Madison Square Garden, top rank card against a girl I absolutely wanted to fight in Sandy Ryan. Me and Sandy make for a great matchup. Similar height and reach, similar body types. We like to box. It's gonna be a very action-packed fight. And with a little grudge that we got going on about Coach K, we're gonna go in there and try and hurt each other. It's just the way it's gonna be.
we're going to Mount Charleston and it's basically just like uphill the whole way. It's an experience, <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Today we're running three miles up it. Sandy, what do you call this mountain? Death mountain. Because <laughs> <laughs> you feel like death when you're running it. But this is like, you know, the air, you get the air. It's hard to breathe, then you're going non-stop uphill. This is why it's the death mountain. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. This fight, for me, I feel like I'm going to need aggression, but smart aggression. Especially early on in the fight, be smart. And then I'm going to start breaking it down. I want to see some blood. I want to put the pressure on this girl and let her feel something that she never felt before. I have to win in a massive statement. Like, it has to be so convincing. She has to drop to the floor. Still losing to me. It'll be the third time she's lost, so um, I can't see any other path for her after this. Listen, I've been in the ring with a lot of different styles. In box, I can bang, I can do all that. Sandy, not so much. Doesn't have that ring experience that I do. This girl has talked a lot of BS. This is important to shut her up and to finish her off, basically. If Michaela loses this fight and loses it in a convincing fashion, her career as a, as a world-class top-line fighter would be in serious jeopardy. For Sandy Ryan, this is a chance to once again legitimize herself as pound for pound one of the best female fighters on the planet. I'm putting my belt on the line, so I think people should tune in because they can see me silence a person that talks a lot of trash. I am getting that belt back around my waist and becoming champion again. Hey Sandy, thank you for finally growing some balls and accepting this fight. Bad decision for you, awesome for the fans. Can't wait to punch that filler out of your lips. She's talking like this is a TV reality show. It's not a TV reality show. She needs to wake up. She needs to shut up. Now you've got yourself into a fight, so I will see you September 27th and shut you up. This fight is absolutely gonna be a war.